All right there, Cappies, I don't know what happened, but I started the video and then realized, hey, nothing's recording. So, welcome. Announcement, I do have an 8,000 subscriber giveaway, so if you want to enter, go into the description box and hit the link that's up top and you can enter to win a free reading from me. So, what I was saying is that it's unusual because I... I asked the collective of the say Leos to pick from my plethora of cards and it was very uncertain because it was like, no, I want this one. No, I want that one. And as I was saying that in the first recording was these two cards and it's of choice. So somebody might be having some trouble in making a choice. Now I already put these down. So, and what I was saying too, if this doesn't resonate with you, go check out my playlist. So you've got the Judgment, the Nine of Cups, and the Justice card. Interestingly enough, the Capricorn reading that I just did had the same cards in the same spots. These were The other ones were clarifiers, but I found it interesting, and it was from a different deck. But what I was saying here is that you want to let go of Judgment. You want that wish fulfillment. You want that justice. And I'm hearing like justice for whatever you want in your life. Your person here, there's temperance, the Ten of Cups, and the King of Pentacles. So they want this happy home, happy life with you as well. And they, I feel like they're financially abundant. They've got what they need. And what I'm hearing is they need time. With these clarifiers here, for the overall, there's the Three of Pentacles and the Seven. So there's, you know, building a solid foundation together. So let's get information about this Judgment card. The Star card has come out. Yeah, you have hope. I feel like you're really releasing what no longer serves you. With this Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment, comes the Nine of Pentacles. So you're like this confident, self-assured, you know, single person who's got their stuff together. And here's the Knight of Pentacles with the Justice. With this Temperance card comes the Devil card. Now guys, tell me more about this. I'm picking up energy like either they're in a relationship, they're they're already married, they're in something, but it's like they desperately want you. The King of Cups with the Ten of Cups. They definitely had a lot, they have a lot of passion towards you. With the King of Pentacles comes the moon card. Yeah, and what I'm picking up here with this one is that they are living two lives. And you're in the middle kind of going, okay, I'm drowning here, figure it out. You know, because you, you want that balance and you want the justice. And there's a part where you might have even been trying to let go of them. But they have a very strong magnetic pull on you, so it's very difficult for you to do so. And it's not like you really want to, it's just the situation. With this Ace of Swords here comes the Eight of Wands. I feel like you guys have lots of um, non-physical communication. And I feel that when you guys speak to each other in the physical, you might even work together. It's very professional. It's very calculated. Like, you guys are very, very careful on how the communication occurs. You know, there's beginnings here with the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands. And here with this Five of Wands, I feel like you're trying to release them and they're not letting you go. Let me see here. 
yeah, this person um, is kind of happy the way things are. They like their other life and they like you. And you were want, it's like they, they somehow woo you, you know, and they can seduce you, you know, and then it just ends up being more torture for you. <sighs> so you've got the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Wands, now the Ace of Pentacles with this Queen. So I think that you've gone cold, at least you're trying to. And they keep offering this new beginning, you know, but they're stuck in between because they don't want to choose. They like having both. You know, and it's, it's not fair to you because you want a partnership. You didn't want, you had never, your plan was to never be the other person. You know, and I think there's a part of that judgment there where you're just like, this was not what I wanted. I'm going to release this. I'm going to release this judgment that I have about myself about it. And just to clarify, this doesn't have hardly anything to do with the Capricorn one, but that's for you to decide. So the Knight of Wands came out. You really want to make it a new start. You really want to take your fire somewhere else. But this person has a strong hold on you. Very, 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 very strong. They know how to manipulate you. They know how to play you. They know how to seduce you. They have great control over you. But the Seven of Cups is the Knight of Swords. I think there's a fantasy for you for that they're going to drop everything and run towards you. And I think now you're getting to the point where you just, you need to move away. You need to get out of the situation, whether that means getting another job so they can't, because I feel like they're a boss energy. So they have that kind of control over you. Like they could say, oh, we have a project to do, you know, AKA meaning we're going to have a weekend together or whatever. And it's, um, you totally love it but it's, it's getting more and more heavier for you. It's not quite working out, not in your favor, even though you like it, but you don't, you wanted much more. You want a home, you want a, you want a family, you want a committed relationship, those kinds of things. And I think that he, he was kind of putting it in your mind that yes, it's happening, but this person is perfectly happy where they are. They're not changing shit. They're not changing shit. I can tell you right now. Their energy's like, yeah, I get my cake, gonna eat it too. It, no, no. Yeah, because you deserve the world. You deserve the world. Anything and everything you want. And sometimes it's going to take walking away from something that doesn't serve you, letting go of those burdens. And this person is a burden. Even though they know how to control you, it's kind of like... The, if you were Superman, they were, they're the kryptonite. It weakens you. It makes you not think clearly. You know, and this is what it's causing you. You know, while they're, while they're on the other side going home to the wife and the kids or whatever the heck it is. You know, you're sitting here alone going, okay, well, here I am again. Screw that. Four swords. You need to take time for you. You need to heal your heart and you need a fresh start. You need to start making what you want to have happen in your life. Start manifesting that. So if this is resonating with you, please make sure that you give this a thumbs up so it goes to other Leos or cross watchers who need to hear this. Because this is, I'm sure, something that is happening everywhere. Now tell me what this person's intentions are towards you. Yeah, they keep promising you fulfillment. But this is the thing is that you do fulfill them, but they like it the way it is. They do fulfill you. 
Or wait, you fulfill them. Sorry, I was saying that totally back ass word. You fulfill them. They're, fu they're fulfilled. They've got their home life. They've got you on the side. They don't need anything else. But it's not making you happy. So you need to use your intuition. You know, this is... For some of you, this is kind of a brutal wake-up call, and I'm sorry. But you come here for the truth, and by God, I'm going to give it to you. So you need to be innovative on how you are going to start creating boundaries around this person. You're in what I'm hearing, and it's interesting because I've never seen it with this one, but with this like whip type thing with the flower, and I'm sure it's some medieval, you know what I'm talking about, or maybe not, <laughs> like a star, you know, with the, on a stick. You can tell I'm not a weapons person. So anyway, um, that you need to take the reins. You need to take back control and not controlling them, but controlling you. You need to do whatever you need to do to cut this person off. And I feel like it might be hard for you because they, they know how to, they know how to work you like crazy. They know how to woo you. They know how to soften you, send you flowers when necessary, say the right words. Like this person's a freaking charmer. So you need to be start being more innovative on how you are going to, you know, end this with this person. You know, and I hate to say this, but I feel that when you move away from them, they're just going to find someone else to move, to go into your spot. They have no intentions of leaving their family. He has no, he, she, they have no intentions of leaving their family. Sorry for this being a trigger, but old Davida's going to give you the news like guys are giving it. Yeah, get organized, put all your ducks in a row. You know, if you guys, if he, if he is somehow, he, she, they have financially tied you somehow, giving you money to get a really nice apartment or whatever it is, you need to organize yourself and get out of that situation because you are a self-assured, abundant person who has plenty of money. And if you want a, a personal reading from me, check the information box down below. It'll give you details because this is something where I could see it would be very hard because this person knows, like, they know how to control you. And it's not like they're a vicious, mean, horrible person. They're not. They just want what they want because they're full of ego. Okay. So love you, my lovely Leos. Guys, anything else that we need to say here? It is time for you to regain your power. It is time for you to stop being subservient to someone else's needs. This person is not going to change. They're not going to offer you this thing that they say that they're going to offer you because they're not. And it's time for you to be the beautiful person that you are. All right. Make sure that you um, enter in for that 8,000 subscriber giveaway. And I will see you next time on Medium of the Light Tarot. Bye-bye.